Yeah, hi, Jay. This is Craig from Ohio calling again. Um, I called yesterday to leave a message about uh, the First Amendment and um, and expressing my opinion that in, in the United States, I think we need to be absolutist about this on the left. Um, the First Amendment is pretty much bedrock, um, as I, as I already, uh, explained. But I wanted to, there was one point I wanted to raise that I didn't get a chance to yesterday, and that is the difference between the First Amendment and the Second Amendment. And I think on the Second Amendment, uh, the right to bear arms, that is where we have uh, more fertile ground to oppose the ability of right wingers and white supremacists to show up in public uh, fully armed, you know, with a, a small arsenal. Um, and there's several reasons for that. Uh, one, guns have, there's a long history of gun restrictions in this country for the first two centuries, in fact, of our country. Uh, the courts held that there was not an unlimited right to uh, firearms. Um, we already restrict firearms in numerous uh, locations and gatherings now. Uh, you can't bring weaponry to uh, perimeter within uh, national conventions, so there's a there's a precedent there. Um, and it is not uh, something that we on the left have traditionally been associated with the you know the, the gun uh, argument. Um, so it's an area where we can push back. Um, the other thing is the First and Second Amendments are in conflict. So if a speaker wants to uh, feel free to express their opinions in public, um, to be intimidated by gangs or even an individual um, heavily armed with weaponry um, opposes or restricts the ability uh, the freedom of someone to speak uh, openly and honestly in public. Um, so I would just argue that if we want to find uh, a place to push back, we should be holding the line on restricting the ability of right-wingers to march around in public fully and heavily armed. Uh, so I just wanted to add that to my comments yesterday. Again, love the show, as always, and talk to you later.